Hello and welcome to the Fat Boss Guide to Harjatan on Mythic in the Tomb of Sargeras. Yes, this is the last of the three easy first bosses in the instance, and just like the other two, the fight hasn't changed all that much, apart from the addition of one new mechanic, which is the addition of tadpoles, which are adorable, but they're also a pain in the ass. So there are four piles of incubated eggs, which are always in the same four locations, placed around the edges of the encounter area. These eggs will remain dormant and untargetable until set points where two separate egg piles will begin to hatch. During this time, both egg piles will have the hardened shell buff, which reduces the damage they take by 99%. This damage reduction can be removed by having Harjatan use his cleave on top of them when he casts Uncheck Rage. Now, as the eggs hatch before the boss casts his Uncheck Rage twice, you can only kill off one of the piles, so your raid needs to work out exactly which eggs they want to make vulnerable and kill them before they hatch, and which egg poles you want to wait ready to kill the tadpoles as they spawn out of them. Now there are three different types of ads that will spawn from the eggs, and you can tell which ads are going to spawn from the eggs based on the colour aura that they have around them. So blue or red eggs will spawn a drippy tadpole if you let them hatch. Drippy tadpoles need to be tanked away from the raid as they do have a passive which causes them to frequently spawn drenching water pools underneath themselves. Red or red eggs will spawn a colicky tadpole. These tadpoles will cast Tantrum, which will cause them to jump to random players over the course of the channel, dealing damage to anyone nearby as they land, and they just jump all over the place. Green Aura Eggs will spawn multiple sickly tadpoles. These tadpoles will each fixate a random player and slowly move towards them, and once they reach that player, they'll cast Rotten Emission, just dealing a huge burst of damage to anyone nearby. These tadpoles move super slowly, and you can slow them even more if you wish. Now, when any of the tadpoles die, they'll actually buff the boss or any adds nearby, permanently increasing their damage done. We're not sure exactly how far away they need to be, but for us, as long as they were 15 to 20 yards away, that pretty much did the job. Now, you're not able to stun them or use any other form of hard CC, so positioning them away from the boss or any of the adds from the start, as well as slowing them, is pretty much the only tool you have. So the next question is, what eggs should you kill before they even hatch? So the blue aura eggs should always be destroyed over all other eggs, as the additional drenching waters that spawn will just prolong the draw-in phase, which is already kind of taxing as it is. The red aura eggs should always be your second choice, as the random movement from the colicky tadpole during its tantrum can make killing it away from other enemies difficult to achieve, which leaves only the green aura eggs, which should be let through pretty much every single time. The low movement speed of these tadpoles, as well as them having a lower health pool, make them extremely easy to switch to and kill before they even get close to anything. So after choosing what egg you want to destroy, you need to make sure the entire raid stands right next to the egg to help split the damage of the incoming unchecked rage. These eggs do actually have quite a high health pool, so they need to be switched to immediately after the hardened shell damage reduction has been removed. After the egg has been destroyed, Hajitan should then be moved away from the other set of eggs or the single egg that's just about to hatch so that the tadpoles will have a larger distance between them and any of the other enemies in the encounter. As soon as they hatch, you want to kill off that new set of tadpoles as soon as possible before switching to any of the murlocs or onto the boss. And as soon as you can get rid of those tadpoles nice and quickly, everything else in the encounter remains like heroic, and you just deal with it in the exact same way. But honestly, that's it. It's a pretty quick and easy encounter. Just quickly choose what egg you want to destroy, make sure everyone shares the hit and then kills the egg before switching to the new tadpole that's just about to hatch. And that's it. So thank you very much for watching guys, if this guide helped you out then do drop us down a like. If you'd like to know more about this encounter or any of the other fights in Tomb of Sargeras, you can find a link for our written wowhead guides in the description, go check them out. Also if you'd like to see how we do this encounter all the way through, a link to a kill video is also down there. And before we do go, we'd like to give a huge thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon. If you'd like to join this group of absolutely fantastic people, a link for that is in the description as well. And once again, thank you for watching, and we shall see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care.